Today, we will look at the change in venue for Freshman Retreat. That and more on this week's episode of WA TV News. Good morning, Wheaton Academy, and welcome to today's episode of WA TV News. We're coming to you from Studio 22. I'm Gigi Going. It's Monday, August 21st. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shuler Williams. Let's get you caught up on a few announcements. Instead of using a thumbprint, like last year, students will now need to bring an ID through the lunch line in order to purchase lunch on Pushquin this year. The new IDs will include a barcode that will be scanned with every purchase. See Mrs. Andrews down at the lower athletic office if you have any questions or if you need to replace a lost ID. Students, please be reminded that the on-campus messaging feature should be used in a professional manner. Do not use the group messaging unless you absolutely have to. And if you do, keep it to a very small group of people. Please respect this messaging feature. There will be an all-school worship night tonight starting at 7 p.m. in front of the White Chapel. Please consider coming and bringing this new school year to God through prayer and worship. This first week of school, we will be on a chapel schedule all 30 days. Tomorrow, we will have another assembly, and on Friday, our principal, Mrs. Hockett, will deliver the first message of the new school year. For our first segment, Jenny Marsteller returns to WA TV News with the story about one of the many retreats that happened prior to this school year starting. Most fall sports get ready in the summer. Cheerleading is no exception. Grace Beatty and Katherine Kopchak tell us more about what Wheaton Academy cheerleaders do in the summer to prepare for the upcoming year. So each year the cheerleading team goes um, to Grand Rapids, Michigan and we get to join with all of these other cheer teams and we get to work with them and learn new chants, new stunts, we learn part of our homecoming dance, we get to do some tumbling, we learn um, new jumps this year, which was fun. Um, and then we get to go back to where we're staying and we get to bond as a team, get to know the freshman girls and any other girls that are new that have joined the team. Um, and it's really fun just to bond with everybody. We had a lot of new girls on the team this year and it's pretty fun because four of our seniors left last year and they were very talented and we missed them a lot. But we're really excited for the new freshmen and all they bring to the team. I'm really excited to meet all these new freshmen and show them the ropes of the cheer team and I'm really excited for this year. I'm Jenny Marceller signing out from Studio 22. That's just so exciting to see the cheer team just back in action. We don't really usually get to see a lot of information or video on them, so that's just really exciting just setting off the school year. Yeah, absolutely, and it's so great just with all that they do for the school, showing up to all the events to cheer and support, just so great and so positive. 100%, and with me also being an athlete, I think it's just really, it really gets me pumped up to see the cheerleaders come to all the different sporting events and just really set the vibe for the games. Absolutely. This past Sunday, the class of 2023, along with the Project 9 seniors, traveled out to Lake Geneva for the annual freshman retreat. But unlike in past years, the retreat wasn't at the old Lake Geneva youth camp. Mr. Hockett has more. At the start of every school year, our newest class of students embarks on the annual pilgrimage to Lake Geneva on freshman retreat. Mrs. Clanky, head of admissions at Wheaton Academy, spoke about the importance of this retreat. The goal of freshman retreat is twofold. The first is just to help students cast vision for their next four years at Wheaton Academy um, in order for them to start well here as freshmen. And then the second goal is just to help them make some friends um, because starting well also um, involves being safe and feeling like you've got some friends in the hallway, friends in your classes. And so we want to create an opportunity before school starts for those friendships to begin, both with their peers as well as the seniors on Project 9. Our Project 9 seniors helped to welcome each new student as they arrived on campus. They assisted with check-in, loading up the buses with luggage, and generally being a welcome presence with these new students. Once at the campsite, students went through a few evening sessions. They were led in worship by Mr. Hogan and received a charge on starting well from Mr. Thornton. Emotions I felt when I was around in the starting blocks. So we were really excited. Senior and Project 9 mentor Hadley Williams spoke about some of the biggest differences between her freshman year and this current one. The biggest difference from this freshman retreat and our freshman retreat is just the new activities that the freshmen this year got to do. They had the privilege of going on different rotations, learning about Project 9 in general, and meeting new teachers, and just getting the chance to really know each, each other from different activities. 
Those activities range from question and answer trivia to skits on Whedon Academy daily life, leadership and teamwork challenges, and an art and creativity session. With 160 new students in this freshman class, it's going to be easy to find someone in the halls and welcome them to Whedon Academy. For Watt TV News, I'm Mr. Hoggett. That's just so exciting to see the freshmen come in, interact with each other, and just immediately get involved. So it just creates a great atmosphere right off the bat. Yeah, absolutely. It's so great to just see all the new faces and everything they have to bring to Wheaton Academy. You know, I'm really looking forward to see what God has in plan for this upcoming freshman class. To bring you all your sports news, here's Josh Perry. Thanks, Shuler. As the sports are very early on in their seasons, only golf has played against any competition to date. This past weekend, the boys team took second place in the Libertyville quad. Freshmen Sam Dykema and Stephen Inc. both tied for second place overall, led all Wheaton Academy players with scores of 73s. Next Monday, we'll give you more information about future Wheaton Academy home sporting events that you can attend. Until then, check out athletics.wheatonacademy.org for more information or to see rosters. That's all for sports this week. Back to you, Schuler. Thanks, Josh. To finish off, let's get you your four things you need to know. Number one, all freshmen through juniors, your school pictures will take place next week, August 27th and the 28th. Number two, don't forget to bring your charge surfaces to school each day. We will no longer be providing Chromebooks. Number three, there are a lot of athletic contests happening next week. Check out our athletic website and plan on getting out to support a few of your friends. Number four, if you didn't notice, we have a slightly different show format and a brand new studio look. Look out for more changes in the next few weeks. That's all for us today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TheRealWawTV. From all of us in Studio 22, have a great first day of school.